Hello Techies, this is Miguelina Betty, aka Catwoman from Tech Valor. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Nightbot in order to increase your engagement when it comes to live streaming. One of the great things about Nightbot is that it's free. And like my friend, Miss Pinky likes to say, if it's free, it's for me. All right, techies, stay tuned for the tutorial. Go to nightbot.tv Click the login button, log in with your YouTube channel, give Nightbot permission to access your Google account, click the allow button, the first thing I recommend that you do is turn Nightbot on and give it permissions to be a moderator on your channel. You'll do this by clicking the join channel. And then here, it'll give you the link to the Nightbot account. So you'll just copy that link. And then you can click on the link here where it says to go to your community settings. And it'll take you right to this page. Now, if you want to get there manually, I'll show you how to do that. You go to studio.youtube.com and in your YouTube channel, on the left side of the screen, you'll go down to settings, and then go to community. So now I'll paste the link to the Nightbot channel, and it'll appear down here. So I'll just click on Nightbot, and then I'll choose save. And now Nightbot is a moderator. You'll know that Nightbot is active and working when you go live because you'll see this button over here that says part channel. So when you click on this button, this actually turns Nightbot off from being able to do its thing on your live stream. But I always leave mine on. So just click join channel. It'll always remind you how to add Nightbot as a moderator, but you can close out of that because that's already been done. The cool thing about Nightbot is that when you turn it on, you don't always have to come back to it and turn it on when you do a live stream, it'll just always be on. The next thing that I like to do right away is to turn off all spam protection. So I'll go to spam protection and here you'll see various spams for like blacklisted words, excessive caps, emotes, links, things like that. I turn that off because Nightbot is pretty aggressive and you can tell it's enabled because it'll say enabled so I'll just go here and disable everything especially if you're a small YouTube channel you don't really need such aggressive spam protection I would suggest turning it off and just letting your moderators do the work the next thing that I like to do is to go over to timers and what this will do is create a message to the people that are live and letting them know call to action like subscribing and liking and anything else that you have going on. So you'll just click add and then name it something. You do need to give it a title. The title does not do anything in the chat so the title won't actually come on there. So you could name it a Google Moo, whatever you want and it won't show up. I just call it like so I know what it means. And then in the message, I just have like a pre copy and paste message I'll put over here. Here you can choose the intervals on which you would like this message to pop up. So I put it, um, it'll automatically choose 15 minutes, but you can go as every five minutes, as fast as every five minutes, or as far as every hour. And so that means that five minutes from when your stream starts, if you have it at the fastest time, it's going to be these timers will actually start five minutes from the stream. I don't really have too many people on my stream and I don't want to inundate them with messages. So I'll do it every 15 minutes. So this one is the chat line. I just keep that the way it is. Leave it at two alias. I'll leave that blank and I'll hit submit. Now, if you want to know how I got these emojis, basically what I do is I just go to Twitter and I may pretend like I'm going to write a message on here and I'll put an emoji. 
so for example like I'll put this red dot right I'll highlight and copy it and then I'll add it onto the, you know whatever message so for example I can edit this and, and do add it right here so that's why I had little emojis that's a little trick for you guys but yes you can edit this um, you can enable or disable it so for example if for a live stream you don't want to tell people to like or whatever message you don't want you can just click disabled but I'll keep it as enabled because it's something that I you know usually want people to do so here I'll add another one and this is just telling people to subscribe to my channel so I'll just name it sub and I have I'll just copy and paste this message here so here's just like the brief message that I have um, a cool thing as well that I wanted to let you know is that for your YouTube channel if you want people to you know subscribe right away when they click on your link just put in the link to your YouTube channel and then question mark and then sub underscore confirmation equals one and what that will do is it'll prompt them to subscribe you to the channel so for this one I'll just put it at 14 minutes because I wanted to come right before the like so I want to tell people to subscribe right before the like and again leave the chat line at two alias and then I'll go ahead and hit submit and I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like for example when I put this link here where it says the sub confirmation equals one see how it says confirm a channel subscription do you want to subscribe and I'll, I'll click subscribe it'll say you can't subscribe to yourself okay YouTube <laughs> all right so I'll go ahead and add another one as well And I'll call this one live stream schedule. Like it really is endless, like the amount of things that you could do on here. You know? So did you know that tech battle live streams? Oh of course I misspelled the word official because I am a typo queen. Anyways, and I'll put it every 16 minutes because I wanted to come after the like. And you can actually have them all be on the same time so like I could put them all at 15 minutes but I feel like it would just spam because it'll just go too fast bam 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 so I'd rather give people a breathing room of about a minute before the next call to action comes up all right and then I'll hit submit cool so the next time I go live these things will be on a timer and they'll just go on there and it'll just be a good call to action so obviously if you have a website that you want people to go to you could put that on there just anything your heart content it doesn't even have to be links for example if you just want to tell people trigger warnings or anything like that you can go ahead and do it all right techie so this wraps up our tutorial leave a like if it worked for you if it didn't work for you leave a comment down below and i'll try to help you out go ahead and share this tutorial with anyone you think might need it and subscribe for more fun tutorials about how to increase engagement in your live streams. All right, techies, Catwoman out.